Hello everyone and welcome to our video on Rekif Round Trip Export Import with Cold Beamer. On this slide you can see the four use cases of exchanging data via Rekif. Initial import of Rekif data, exporting data as Rekif, re-export of previously imported and possibly modified data back to origin, and re-import of previously imported Rekif data from the same origin. In the demonstration I will be showing you simply how to import and export. So before we get started, what is Rekif? The Requirements Interchange Format is an XML file format that can be used to exchange requirements along with its associated metadata between different sets of software tools from different vendors. It has been adopted by the OMG as a formal specification. It was developed in the automotive industry but is suitable for lossless exchange of requirements in any industry. In the exchange of information with Rekif, you can define arbitrary types of items, relations, and specifications. Item types are similar to classes in object-oriented programming, tables in a relational database model, or trackers in CodeBeamer. There can be any number of item types in a Rekif file, each having a different set of attributes like user stories, use cases, requirements, test cases, and so on. Relation types are similar to CodeBeamer's association types. They define a specific type of relationship between two items, for example, depends on, derived from, etc. Relation types can also define attributes for relations, which are the equi equivalent to them being suspected. Specifications aggregate items into a tree hierarchy. They can include items of different types, and the same item can be included in multiple specifications or in the same specification multiple times. Specifications are more like a table of contents or document outlines than real documents because they cannot carry any extra information except for the tree hierarchy itself. The closest thing to a specification in CodeBeamer is a tracker document view, although trackers can only contain items of the same type. Note that Rekif does not contain the concept of reference fields or foreign keys, but CodeBeamer is able to convert reference fields into relations upon export and bind relation types to tracker reference fields upon import. So let's jump into CodeBeamer and let me show you how to do this. I can choose my previously set import project, my Rekif file, and I click on next. I will give it a name, and down here I can choose the uh, configure the mapping of the import. You only have to do this once and you can save and load previously saved mappings. So I'm going to load one of mine that I've already saved. And as you can see, it will map everything according to what I've saved as the preset. I can click on next and finish. And if I go into my trackers, I can see that these trackers have been imported and the uh, uh, data has also been imported if I click on the tracker. I can see the requirements have been imported, the test cases, and test sets as well. Now if I want to export this, I will have to go and click on admin. And on the general tab, I can choose export. As I said previously, you can also import into an existing project. So that this is where you would do that by clicking on import Rekif. But now I'm going to import as Rekif archive. And here, once again, I have to set the destination and load or save or set up previous um, sets. I will choose this manual now, so I will export all my requirements and all the fields that I see here, my test cases, as well as my test sets. Then I can click on OK, and as you can see here, it saved the Rekif file, so I 
can import this back into doors or wherever I need the new uh, record file. And it's actually as easy as that. So that is how you import and export Recif into Code Beamer.